Hello everyone, this is Aluminium Can Artist, Alumi here. Today I'll be making the Infinity Gauntlet from the Avengers Endgame series. As you can see here, I got a template laid out of the Infinity Gauntlet. Um, links in the description if you want to take a look. So recently, at my local supermarket, we have quite a good deal for coconut juice water. So I got 3 cans for around $3 or so and since they are exceptionally large for their size I thought why not make use of it and make the infinity gauntlet well first I decided to work on the fingers but it includes the most movable joints and I suppose it turns out to be kind of the hardest surprisingly of the entire build so first, I stick the template onto the aluminum can and cut it out before folding according to the designated lines on the template. Uh, uh, folding can be often made simpler with a pair of tweezers to sort of guide the folds along the edge of the aluminum piece. You know, after cutting a few pieces of the hand, I slowly realized that actually, well, the template is of an infinity gauntlet stand rather than an actual movable infinity gauntlet. So I decided to make some modifications with it. And yeah. Simply because the fingers aren't really movable, nor can the palm and everything else. So I decided to make some modifications on it. I'll be, so when I make the fingers, uh, I decided to create some latches at the front of the fingertips to give it a, to, to be able to move the fingers on the fly. And uh, in order to uh, make the glove itself, I was thinking of actually using plastic plastic eating gloves since I didn't have actual gloves at home yeah so yeah so in order to reinforce it I was using uh, I was using masking tape to reinforce the gloves blow it up And that's the creation of Mr. Hen. Oh, hi Mr. Han, welcome back. So, now we'll be pacing the each individual um, pieces onto the glove to see whether it actually can just call, come together in one piece. Uh, well, after piecing everything together, well, after gluing everything onto the plastic glove, I realized it's not really a good idea. I can't super glue the pieces onto the plastic glove because it will melt the plastic. So now I'll be cutting out the palms, the front of the 
the, the pumps of the infinity gauntlet uh, so that at least we have something to hold on to while we wear the gauntlet no actually building larger items was much more easier considering that I just had to use the scissors and a piece of pliers to work out the whole thing using a pen knife to cut aluminium is so much harder like it will pain your hands man it will just pain your hands I'm talking about great pain you know yeah so now I'm cutting out actually the back of the hand it's actually slightly a bit too long for my hand I suppose hmm okay maybe it's time for some modifications later now I'm cutting out the rest of the back of the hand since the front part was okay uh, the back of the hand was surprisingly easy but the issue was they didn't really have much ink sigma or the, the kind of course design uh, on the god on the template itself so when I piece everything together it came out to be just plain yeah plain plain aluminium back piece which I didn't really like of course because their designs were all printed onto the piece of paper so it was quite easy for them to sort of have the design already out but I wanted I actually wanted the 3D style of the design so yeah uh, I, I'm sticking up all the pieces together first to test it before sort of committing into it and super gluing the whole thing together Now time for the sticking process. Phew, that was fast and intense. Now let's help Mr. Hand to pack more some heat. Well, we can use the leftover pieces of paper to stuff him up and fill him. Hello, Mr. Hand. Okay, so now time for the 3D pop-up design that I was mentioning before. Uh, because, yeah, like I said, it was printed so I had to draw out my own template from the reference that I have printed out and then I cut and then I use some soft metal rod small metal rod to carve out the each individual pieces and to make the 3d design pop up it was surprisingly alright it was quite a fun thing to do actually like the result came out surprisingly better than expected much better than expected it means Thanos Thanos Infinity Gauntlet design she resembles more of a leather kind of design rather than a metal kind of design which is weird because in the stories his gauntlet is made of metal so how does that work? no? but anyways so in order to put the fingers parts together as you can see it's actually still three separate pieces 
um, I decided to poke a hole through the midsection of the fingers and put a, I bought a box of paper fasteners to insert each and every one of them into the holes so, I've, so, that you, so that you can see the result is actually quite good Hello Mr. Han, once again Okay, let's put you into the cradle first yeah, see this is where Mr. Hand is useful because you can see it's like you can see how it's fitted into the hand. Yeah. Gives us a template to work with rather than just going in blind. Yeah, so uh one thing that I realized about the paper fastener idea was that the mid sections of each individual hand I realized that I didn't really. I realized I sort of screwed up because the mid sections of each individual hands didn't have any places to sort of put on the face paper fasteners. So I decided to make this makeshift um, mid section joinery to join the fingers onto the glove itself so that, you know, the glove can still work and it can be join together with the main portion of the goblet oh man the step still doesn't work using a diamond file is surprisingly helpful in this instance because like and just poke it through oh yeah remember be careful of your fingers <laughs> I actually accidentally poked myself here and there once or twice but uh, oh well it was a light one so luckily I didn't get injured but uh, just be careful we're dealing with metal here metal For a quick drink, boost DDD, <laughs> boost in energy. Time for a quick drink, boost in energy. Uh, let's just use the can once again. The natural choice, yours. Feel like I'm promoting for them, Lamal. What else? If you have pieces that are smaller and you want to. Be able to see it better and like sort of stick the pieces closest to the edge closer to the edge uh, you can use this method of shining the piece under a pi under a light so that you can see the pieces better it's just a really really fun thing to do actually to make the 3d pop out and everything so satisfying once you're able to see the 3d pop out actually popping up now we are gonna make the each individual drill uh, power stone holder of the gauntlet this is one of the most important parts because without it ten will be nothing sticking the power stones quite funny isn't it even the power stone holder isn't the same size that there's the same design it's like one is like two of them is like jewel shape while the other two is like diamond shape it's so weird maybe I just haven't read enough the comics maybe you can comment your understanding down below if you guys know why is it designed like this so now I'm making the final pieces of the lower section of the gauntlet um, the description of the lower piece is actually quite interesting because it looks more like something a general army would wear on their shoulder those um, those general ranking system 
that they all that military um, army would use on their uniforms but apparently here it's used on the gauntlet so interesting design In order to join the whole gauntlet together, I actually used two random strips to sort of stick the whole thing together to just be able to still move each of the individual parts of the gauntlet but yet um, hold the whole thing together. Beautiful, isn't it? <sighs> Finally, with the power of the universe. I can do whatever I want. With the power of the gauntlet, remember to like, comment, and subscribe.